Hi everybody, welcome to What's in the Box. Today we're having a look at the Afghan Warriors box from the guys over at Wargames Atlantic. In this box, we are going to be getting ourselves 40 multi-part hard plastic figures uh, at 28mm scale. Uh, I like the fact that these are good from 1815 to 1914. So, long, long range of historical periods you could use these particular miniatures for. Uh, flipping around to the back, we can see we can build them as if they've got some rifles. We've got some old school melee units in here. I quite like it. Now, all of our sprues in the box are identical, so I only need to show you the one. Uh, so on here we've got some shields, we've got some black powder muskets, we've got all the head options down along the bottom here with different uh, head wraps and stuff, we've got swords on here, uh, both in scabbards and out of scabbards, we've got those shields on there. Each sprue is going to build us five guys. Uh, I also like the fact the way they've done the, uh, the rifles, you'll notice there's a little tab here, uh, basically between here it'll tell you which left arm it is, and which right arm it is between the two. Very useful. Right, let's have a look at the minis. Okay, our first guy here, I decided to give him a sword and a punch dagger. Uh, I believe it's a Qatar, you call it. Uh, really nice flowing robes on this. A uh, little bit of cleanup to do on some of the, the gate locations because you had a gate down here at the bottom of the leg and one up in behind the arm. Uh, so it's just a little knife work and it, it cleans up pretty pretty well. Uh, the heads, uh, flat connection, nice and simple. The arms, again, a flat connection. Everything goes together pretty nice and cleanly. Uh, I then did a guy with sword and shield, uh, because if you're going to play these in the older variant or the older time periods, I'm guessing this is probably how you're going to arm them. Uh, our last guy, also with a sword and shield, but very different pose. There's some nice variation in this kit to get lots of different poses in there, which I really, really like. So this guy, he's basically got the sword up and saying, well, are we ready to charge, gentlemen? Uh, the next ones I did, I decided to put the rifles on because I wanted to see how they would work. Now, normally whenever I'm doing rifles that are coming as the right arm and the gun with the left arm then gluing on, it's sometimes a bit of a pain. But this actually worked pretty well. Everything came together nice and easily. Uh, again, they do have that little tab on the base, which I'm not a fan of. I'd probably trim those off myself, but that's down to personal choice. Uh, the last guy I built uh, actually came together nicely as well, and it's a nice pose where he's actually down hunkered and actually looking down the sight of his gun to actually take a shot at somebody. Uh, depending on which way you build these for the more modern or the more ancient style, uh, that's how you're going to change things up. Again, with that little base tab, I think this one might be a little more tricky to take off, but me personally, I probably would, but that's just me. All right, that is the Afghan Warriors box for War Games Atlantic. Drop your comments in below. Tell me what time period would you use these guys for? What game system? I'll move on. I'll see you again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.